to all of you who have come here. Um, thank Mr. Fujiwara for continuing and making the future of Sewa Kai. And we will all give you our complete support. We are, we are, we are all behind Sewa Kai completely. Um, I want, on behalf of um, the foreign group, I'd like to thank you for your teaching, for everything you do for us in every country. And um, I can only say we're going to miss Tazaki Sensei. Uh, he's been a big part of our lives for a long time. And thank you very much for everything. Thank you. Well, in uh, this crucial moment in Japan after the disaster, and I'm really, really happy and proud to see a lot of foreigners here. We have a great group. Didn't expect so many of us to be here, but we're here to support Sewakai. And let's grow together strong. Thank you. I started karate in 1964 This other guy came back from Japan, his name was Stuart Booth, and Stuart Booth had trained with Tozaki Sensei and had been in Japan for about 18 months um, and came back, frankly, I think a little bit insane from the training. Um, I mean, the train, we, we trained the way they trained in Japan. Um, you know, there were two-hour classes with very, very violent kumite, um, very hard exercises. Uh, if people got injured, there was no sympathy, there was no help, there was no nothing. Uh, it was just a, a real knockdown, drag out kind of thing. I met him in his coffee shop. He had a coffee shop. I went to visit him with Koshi Yamaguchi. We drove there on his motorcycle. When I first practiced with him, he was a very frightening man. He was very strong and <laughs> very powerful. Powerful presence, but powerful also in his practice. Obviously, I will tell you that, <laughs> not the now. Totally different story, which is the senior is the one of the God, kind of God, can't even near to it. Not the only Kazaki, any senior people, the way are that, really, really scared, scared the hell. In 1954, Tazaki sensei won the first uh, Gojukai Cup here in Japan. And two years later, uh, he was second place. But he only lost because he fought with a broken arm. And before the class, um, Mr. Fujiwara, uh, Mr. Tazaki told Mr. Fujiwara to put on his gi and, and uh, demonstrate sunshin in the lobby of this little bed and breakfast. And when he got into sunshin touch, Mr. Tozaki went behind him and kicked him in the groin <laughs> because his knees weren't closed enough. Uh, and I thought, whoa, <laughs> this is what he does to his friends. I wonder what he does to his enemies. During the American occupation, I think their life was very hard. And I think in those days he had a lot of street fighting opportunities. Dai Nippon Butokukai was forbidden from practicing any type of military scientist, mar martial arts, which military science back then also was part of the Department of War. And the way to shut all of it down was part of the San Francisco Pact, which ended. Uh, the operations of the DNBK at that time. However, they were permitted to start again in the mid-1950s in order to maintain Japanese cultural uh, specific, specific items, being karate-do, judo, 
a i k i d o i a i d o different types of martial arts. And back then,、uh, Yamaguchi sensei, Go, Yamaguchi Gogen sensei, was actually the president for the karate do division. He was one of the best students of Gogen Yamaguchi. That's why he has the name Goshu. He、uh, created a good relationship with,、uh, with Gogen Yamaguchi. I don't think the occupation developed his karate. I think what he, what he was as a man, his, his personality and his nature made, made his karate what it was. He happened to live in that time, but many people lived in that time. Essentially, is can be very violent. So, yes, I think no, women were not really that much involved. Now, as a sport, yes, they're involved, that's okay, that's fine. But the, the karate t a z a k i sensei grew up with was very physical and very much about. Being functional, does it work? And women don't do that. <laughs> so it's not a. We, I, from a sporting point of view, women are fine in karate. From a real karate point of view, it's, it's not for them. I agree with Tazaki. <laughs> so, but it doesn't mean women shouldn't do it. You know that what's the big difference is the traditionals and the sports. It's a big difference. Sports are only focusing on the winner if the world loses. Budo, which is a world war car, martial art, is not、uh, focusing on the winner or losers. Budo is one of that, the one of that, the w o r l d you're gonna death or they're gonna live. Beside that, we will learn that, that those the Budo to learn that day by day the life. The, the, the main object is that the other's body and our body is. Intentionality is the intention、uh, of the action. But in karate, if you fail, you can hurt yourself or hurt the other person. That's why karate also, the discipline is very important. Tazaki sensei would hurt you in five seconds and then go home and go to downstairs to, his, to work and make flower arrangements. I said, What the heck's going on there? Then I just curiosity, 
then asking Chantazaki, Chantazaki, you own the flower shop. Then I realized that, or I noticed that also that the flower arrangement the license on the inside of the shop. Then I look at it inside of the, the uh, shop, license is hanging down there. I said, Shan, you is the one of the also Shan for that flower arrangement and everything else. Yes, Yabunaka, you didn't know. Yes, yes, Shan. I didn't know till now. I know now. And then I also understood that Tazaki, uh, since I was an artist, he looks to karate as something beautiful. And his karate was timeless. It wasn't yesterday's karate. It was karate from yesterday that belongs to tomorrow. It'll never, it'll, it, can, it can only grow. It was growing. It, ne it never went, even as he got older, his karate, in a sense, got better. It was, it, it was never, it, sure, the body deteriorates, but his mind never deteriorated. I think karate today is inter, so intertwined with Japanese thinking, but for the rest of the world, that's not the case. The Japanese karate is very deep. The rest of the world are producing sports people just as good as the Japanese. I wouldn't say karate do is the essence of Japanese culture. But I would say Japanese culture is the essence of karate do. In Japanese culture, there's many, many sports, many, many arts. Some of them martial arts, some of them arts of beauty, uh, flower arranging, the paper folding, the tea ceremony. Uh, these are all cultural arts of Japan. When I used to watch Tazaki Sensei teach, even the very simple movement was like an an artist doing a, some painting it was very, I, I cannot ex describe the difference between him and others. It's this. Clearly, he's not saying, oh, Yabunaka, you did a good job. I never got that. Um, but uh, he's a heart, he's inside. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, I'm happy. I never ever felt that uh, anything uh, hard feeling from the other Tazaki. I always got uh, always advice from them, but uh, I never against it. I'm really, really happy to deal with that so long. Uh, again, uh, he passed away. I lost so much big things. はい、それではお渡します。はい、お渡します。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。は